This is a simple dice game. After each roll, the higher value wins. In this particular case, the blue one has triumphed. These are clearly not standard dice. The blue one is showing two fours, and the red one has two sixes. The total number of spots on the blue die is 21, just as it is on a standard dice. So, blue's advantage of having two fours is offset by the fact it also has two threes. The red die, meanwhile, has two sixes, but this is balanced out by its three twos. Again, the total number of spots on the red die is 21. So, since both these dice have the same total number of spots, obviously they're both as good as each other, right? Well, of course they're not. If these two are rolled against each other, the blue one wins most of the time. There is a third die in this set, this green one. Just like the other two, it has 21 spots in total. But its configuration means that when it is pitched against the blue one, it is more likely to win. So, if the green die beats the blue one, and the blue one defeats the red, what happens when the green die comes up against the red one? Interestingly, in this case, the red outstrips the green. This is therefore a rather special set. Each die has the same total number of spots but consistently wins against one rival and loses against the other. Suppose you're playing against an opponent and you can get them to select their die first. Then you can always opt for a die that will beat them about 55% of the time. If they pick blue you select green, if they go for red you plump for blue and if they choose green, you opt for red. Mathematicians call this a non-transitive set. This particular group of die was identified by me, Steve Hortin, a member of the Basingstoke Makerspace. 